Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your weekly tarot reading for the week of December. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing really, really well. This reading is for any sun, moon or rising Sagittarius sign. We will take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance and possible outcomes. I will also choose a couple of Oracle cards for additional information. And you know, this, this weekly reading is a way to capture the energies and messages for you to help out in some way. So let's just go ahead and get started with your reading. So interesting, we have the lovers again. We have the queen of wands and we have the ace of wands. So look at the position of the two wands here. Uh, you know, with the lovers, this major arcana card, it's about um, important and significant relationships. And so whether it's a platonic relationship or it's a romantic relationship, this is a relationship or a union that has meaning to you. Whether it is a best friend, uh, a companion, a business partner, a family member, where there's a deep bond, there is uh, the coming together of two people and um, as they go through life and they connect and they interact and they, they deal with what life brings. For, for those where this applies in a romantic fashion, this is the possibility of, of a serious relationship that, has, uh, that can last, that could lead to commitment, that could lead to an engagement. And you know, it's that, it's the occasion when you meet someone, you feel the spark, you connect, you get together, and then as time goes on, you get to know each other. And that's really where the work begins. And that's how the relationship grows and evolves, is by building intimacy, by learning about common goals, what you both want to do, what you want to achieve. Are you going to be able to come together with your ideas and with, you know, your future vision? So often there are decisions to be made, you know, along the terms of a relationship, you get to know someone, you start to think about how it's going to play out. For some people, they know immediately when they've met someone, they know immediately that they, they're going to marry this person. And so others take some time. And with this lovers, these are the decisions that go into this type of um, you know, relationship. It's significant, it's meaningful, it's very bonded. Uh, again, for the lovers out there, it's romantic, it's passionate, it's sensual. Everything is brought in. It's the universe pulling two people together and feeling the, the fire of that attraction. So Saturday may be a day to think about your important relationship. And again, for those that have met their great soulmate, you know, there's always an opportunity to get to know someone better, to improve the relationship, to be romantic again, to be passionate about each other. So with this passion, here's the queen of wands, who's sensual, passionate, and charismatic, a go-getter, an energy of taking charge. So she's looking in the direction of the Ace of Wands here. There's a real sense of some, something, something going to take place. Some action is going to happen. So however you define action, but this is about making things, um, making things uh, exciting in your life, passionate within your life. The go-getters live life to its fullest. So within the context of a relationship, it's bringing the excitement into a relationship. It's uh, perhaps it's desire and there's passion in getting to know someone. There is, um, you know, there's uh, excitement in the process of being with someone and always learning. So the queen of wands brings a sense of success of being very capable, multitasking, she can do it all. And she is going to use her personal power to make things so, to bring about excitement and act activities within her life. So, you know, she may be on a mission to work on this love relationship. She may be saying, hmm, this is, this is going to be the one. 
So along with this Queen of Wands, here's the Ace of Wands, which is the universe looking at you saying you have an opportunity here. Here's a blessing. It's a gift in disguise or maybe not so much of a disguise. Here's this wand. Take this wand, be creative, be inspired, and to manifest something new. For those that are single, this Queen of Wands could represent the, the energy for you to, to take this wand and to go out there and to make things happen with respect to relationships. So again, for people who are single, what do you have to do? You have to put forth the effort. You have to think about how you're going to socialize and meet people. And when you meet people, and if you're doing things that you're really passionate about, that's really ideal because then you may meet and make a connection of someone who shares uh, shared interests. And that's always fun to be able to talk and to get to know someone over a shared interest. So here we have the power of the Ace of Wands, manifesting creation and um, a new beginning. But it goes toward creativity and it goes toward um, taking action and making things happen. You know, go forth and create. Here's the Queen of Wands. She is the instrument. She's going to flow through and be the dynamic energy to get things started and to move it along. And then we have the lovers here, which is the significant relationship, or for some, the desire for that soulmate or that significant, important relationship to you that you're emotionally bonded to, that you hope will have potential, good potential within your life. So very interesting two days in a row to have the lover's card and to have the idea of our relationships um, really taking precedence. So number-wise, we have six, seven, eight, and eight is about progress. Eight is about recognition and um, accomplishment. It's also about power. And truly, when we see the Queen of Wands, we are thinking about power, personal power, creative growth, personal growth. And finally, let's choose a card for love, and we'll see what the message is for the day. So we have study. Spirit has its own special way of letting you know that it's time to study again. From time to time, it's important to go back and learn, whether this learning's learning old things in a new way or learning something totally new. This is an opportunity to expand your mind. So study, always a good idea um, to be broad-minded, to bring new experiences into your life, to be informed. You know, we can do that every day with and without a relationship. You know, it's just simply, an, again, a nice practice to study. And, uh, you know, maybe there's some, some things to be learned from the relationship here. So friends, this is what I have for you for the day. I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, share this video, comment below. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow for another reading. Take care.